There is a lot happening in sports today and a lot of people to talk to. Absolutely, and one of the people we all love to hear from is standing with Bob tonight. Bob. Yeah, thanks very much, guys. It's the annual Skates and Plates Dinner. Penguins very active in the community as they normally are. This is the 25th year of doing this event here tonight at the beautiful Music Hall in Oakland. And Sidney Crosby's a veteran of this as well. And he said, I remember Darius Gasparitis had some mishaps here. Of course, that was his style of play anyway. He knocked over soup trays and everything else. Have you had any kind of experiences like that? Um, personally, not yet, knock on wood. But uh, I know Stalzi, uh, in his first uh, first dinner here, spilt uh, some soup on someone. So um, <laughs> it happens, and uh, we're not the best at this, but we try, and it's, uh, it's always an enjoyable night. It is, and the way it goes is people get penguin players to wait on them and whoever gets the highest tip wins some prizes so you make money for both the cystic fibrosis foundation and mary lemieux foundation so that's good uh now the next thing i want to ask you about is your gear you know there's been a big uh, ten thousand dollar reward by reebok to find it any progress there um well i think they're they're working hard Ho hockey canada's been on it ever since uh, the final game but um you know, like i said before it's something that uh you know with time it always kind of turns up so i'm um, uh I'm waiting to see, but I'm, I'm pretty positive it'll turn up at some point. Was that instinctive you went for your mouth guard more than anything else? No, I mean, it was <laughs> just one thing that I got back. Everyone cleaned, uh, cleaned up on the ice, and of all things, a clear, small mouthpiece laying on the ice is what got back. So um, kind of weird the way that worked out, but I uh, was happy to get it back. There was a time where someone put chewing gum on eBay, so if they had found that, who knows what might have happened with the mouth guard. Yeah, I'm glad to have it back. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about your team now. You guys all of a sudden have opened up a five-point lead over the Devils, who are a little bit struggling. They have games in hand, but uh, do you feel pretty comfortable where this team is, maybe as compared to this time last year? Um, well, I think they're different, <clears throat> but I think that at this point we're, we're happy that we're, we're hopefully peaking at the right time. This is when you want to play your best hockey. So um, the last few games we've done that, but uh, we know there's still a lot of season left, and we know that uh, down the stretch everyone's going to be better too. So we're just trying to make sure that uh, we finish strong here. All right, Sidney Crosby here. You look good in the tux. I know that your clothing line is more casual than this, but you like wearing tuxes? Yeah, they're okay. I mean, <laughs> uh, don't wear them too often, but uh, we always have to wear suits going to games and things like that, so it's nothing uh, too of the ordinary. All right, Sydney will be waiting on tables tonight. Thanks for the time. We appreciate it, and I hope we raise a lot of money, as we always do. All right, sounds good. Thank right. you.